everybody! Today I brought this. You know what it is? Look at this. It looks like a potato. This is taro. We are going to make soup. Taro soup in Korean. Torangku. When I lived in Korea, I always thought Toran is only Koreans eating. But later I found out that all around the world people eat taro. So they make the all kinds of dish, also medicinal usage, they use this. Today I'm going to introduce you to Korean style taro soup. Very, very delicious. Soup and rice and kimchi, a few side dishes. This is a perfect, nutritious Korean meals you can make. Taro is a plant, really huge. And also stems we eat also, this is root. Taro root in Korean, to ran. Because to means earth, ran means egg. It looks like small eggs, eggs from the earth. Really cute name, to ran. Raw to ran is toxic. Once it is cooked, no problem. So I'm just boiling water and then I'm going to blanch this guy. And then later peel. One pound toran, a little more than one pound, one, one pound plus two ounce because I'm going to peel. And cover. Exactly 10 minutes I boiled. Turn off. I'm going to rinse this in cold water. Rinse this in my pot again. Soak this in cold water just a few minutes. This is six cups of water. And make a soup. We are going to make a soup. This soup is for four servings. So if we are hungry, for two servings. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to peel the taro. Peel, you know, using knife or potato peeler you can use, like this. Potato peeler, or you can use just a knife. This taro is a little slippery. When you do this, like not like a potato, it's just a slippery, so be careful. This all the skin we gotta really remove, really clean. Like a little slippery. Toran taste is like a potato, uh, but really creamy and soft and tender. So each toran, we are going to cut this in bite size pieces. So can you see, like here is a, inside is a still like uncooked, outside is a little cooked, right? And then, so toran is ready and I'm going to set aside here and then we need to make this soup tasty. I'm going to use beef brisket. This is a half pound. So beef brisket. A little like this fat, it's a delicious fat, and you know, I'm using this whole. Cut into bite-sized pieces. The water is boiling, I'm going to cook this beef. And close. This is medium-high heat. For 10 minutes, I'm going to cook. We are going to make nice broth because the, while this beef is cooking and then the deliciousness, the infused to the water. We are going to use two cloves of large garlic clove and then this is a <laughs> huge green onion. I got this from farmer's market. This one is like a large size, so you need two green onions, but I'm going to use this one large green onion.
we have to cook beef and garlic for 10 minutes and then green onion, let's cut it this. Later I will just add. This is like a large amount, so you can prepare two small green onion, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to introduce you, like for the first time I think I can introduce you this Korean ingredient. Very, very important. For Toranku, unskippable ingredient is this. I always keep in the freezer. This is perilla seed powder. It says 들깨 가루. Why I'm using this? This makes this soup very nutty and perilla seed flavor. This is unbelievable. So tasty. 10 minutes I cook this beef. It's time to put taro. And then I'm going to add some salt. So salt and fish sauce. One tablespoon fish sauce, one teaspoon salt. From now, I'm going to cook for 20 minutes over medium high heat. And then later, then all done. Beef is tender and soup is done and taro is well cooked. And then I'm going to add my dilke garu, perilla seed powder and green onion. That's it. Past. I'm going to add this dilke garu quarter cup. One hand quarter cup, the other hand the strainer. Let's go. Like this. All delicious stuff, this perilla seed powder is going through this strainer. See? When you use this, this strainer should be really fine strainer you gotta use. So suddenly you see the change, the like a milky color. Okay, really awesome, already it looks so delicious. And then green onion. One minute with the green onion and done. Okay, I will just remove from the heat. Look at that. Really great, isn't it? Beautiful. Put some in my bowl. So this is the soup we made. Rice and soup and some kimchi. Let's taste. Soup. Oh. Very good. That's it. This taste, I'm looking for this taste. Taro tastes like a potato, but like a mashed potato, but firmer, firmer and soft, melting in my mouth. I usually put some rice here and then into my soup. This is my usual way, the way of eating. Mm. This is a kakdugi I made. Yeah, kakdugi goes well with any type of soup, Korean soup. Mm. I don't need many side dishes when I make this kind of soup and rice, but some green stuff is good, isn't it? This is my yolmu kimchi, young reddish kimchi. It's the leaf part. Mm, delicious. Mm. This is mung bean sprouts and cucumber. Mmm. Awesome! Mm. Today we made Toranku taro soup. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye!